Welcome to the enchanting world of our story, where the Winter Festival transforms the town square into a magical wonderland. Picture a canvas of white and gold, where laughter mingles with the sweet aroma of cinnamon spice treats. The grand tree stands tall, adorned with twinkling lights, each snowflake a whisper of the past. Join us as we delve into the heart of this winter tale, where Alara and Finn embark on a journey to honor their ancestors and uncover the mysteries of the enchanted snow globe. Stay tuned as the story unfolds, revealing the rich tapestry of history and the shadows that lurk just beyond the flickering lights. In the heart of the bustling square, Alara stands, her breath visible in the crisp winter air. Her heart races with a blend of excitement and trepidation as she cradles the enchanted snow globe, its surface shimmering with untold stories. Beside her, Finn, with his dark hair tousled by the winter wind, scans the crowd with a mixture of skepticism and curiosity. Are you sure this is a good idea? He asks, his voice barely rising above the joyful cacophony. Alara's bright green eyes sparkle with determination as she replies, We have to honor our ancestors, Finn. Mabel said they want to be remembered. Meanwhile, Mabel, the town's unofficial historian, moves gracefully through the crowd. Her silver hair catches the light like a halo as she shares stories with the children, her warm brown eyes twinkling with kindness. Remember, my dears, the spirits are not to be feared. They are our guides, our family. They come to remind us of who we are and where we come from. As the festivities unfold, Alara and Finn take turns using the snow globe, each encounter with a spirit revealing fragments of the town's rich history. Laughter fills the air, but an ominous presence lurks just beyond the flickering lights, a shadow that seems to pulse with anger. The malevolent spirit, tied to a tragic event long forgotten, begins to stir, its energy disrupting the joyous atmosphere. Alara feels a chill run down her spine as she catches glimpses of flickering shadows at the edges of the square. The laughter of the townsfolk begins to wane, replaced by whispers of doubt. Finn, sensing the shift, tightens his grip on Alara's arm. What if we're not ready for this? What if we summon something we can't control? But Alara, emboldened by her connection to the past, shakes her head. We have to try, Finn. We can't let fear dictate our memories. We owe it to them. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the square, the atmosphere shifts. The laughter fades, replaced by an unsettling silence. The malevolent spirit, sensing the children's resolve, begins to emerge, its shadowy form flickering at the edges of the celebration. It is a swirling mass of darkness with eyes that glow like embers. Alara and Finn stand at the center of the chaos, their hearts pounding, determined to confront the spirit and protect their community from the shadows of the past. The air is thick with tension as they brace themselves for the challenge ahead, their resolve unwavering in the face of the unknown.